All right, Shaq Murray Lawrence been following this guy's career for a long time, calling his games. Of course, uh, bust onto our scene with the BC Lions in 2015, where he spent three seasons, and then the Montreal Alouettes in 2019. And then we kind of lost track of him like everybody else in the CFL in 2020. And then we find out he's on a bobsled. Shaq Murray Lawrence, welcome to the RP Show today. Happy New Year, my friend. What is your story, my man? What is going on with you? Uh, well, I mean, COVID hit and uh, didn't really have anything to do. You know, everybody was kind of sitting around in limbo. And um, the Canada bobsled team reached out to me back in uh, 2017. Um, but I was involved in a car accident. So didn't go out, missed a couple seasons, you know. Uh, got picked up by Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Was on the practice squad, just kind of getting healthy. Um, went to the Alouettes. Failed a medical. Um, you know, when things finally started getting rolling, you know, we got hit with COVID. So finally, I got my opportunity, you know, to come out to uh, participate, you know, and earn a spot on the Team Canada team. Now, your agent told me that you just recently competed in Germany. Like, what has your schedule been like here recently? Recently, it's been pretty much everyday training, you know, training or working on the sled, just working on our craft, you know, just trying to get better and get ready for the Olympics. Well, it's interesting that you said that Team Canada reached out for you. We all know Jesse Lumsden, of course, right? Lummer, Canadian running back in a, in a, in a high Crichton winner with, with McMaster, has done this before you. So is Team Canada actively recruiting Canadian fullbacks, running backs like yourself, or what? Did he pave the, the road for you somewhat? I think he did pave the way. And uh, I think the mold just for the bobsled athlete, you know, football kind of goes hand in hand, you know, with just the speed and power and all the things necessary to push the sled, you know, at a high rate of speed and, and get in. I think football is just one of those sports that go hand in hand. Viewer Greg Clevgard writes in and he says, cool runnings, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Were, you, were you familiar with the John Candy movie? Or if not, when did that be, get on your radar? The Jamaican bobsled team. Honestly, I, I, I was familiar with it, you know, growing up. Uh, but as soon as I got on the team, that's all I heard was just cool runnings. You know, every reference, cool runnings this, cool runnings that. You know, I got the dreadlocks. Uh, my mom's actually Jamaican. So, you know, it's very familiar to us. Well, <sighs> Obviously, now it's a flood of questions to me. This is a very uplifting, positive story. Can you please compare to me being a member of the Canadian national bobsled team to being a CFL player? What are the differences? What's the training like? What's your life like? What's the travel like? Are they similar at all? Uh, I would say the travel a lot further, obviously. Uh, right now, we're in Switzerland, and we uh, just left Germany, just competed in the Euro Cup. So travel for me is completely different you stay at a place for a week instead of you know a couple of days or whatever getting ready for a game um training all similar stuff you know big heavy lifts a lot of sprinting a lot of running uh the film for me is the same you know kind of approach it the same way and um yeah that's pretty much it everything is kind of similar um i would say being a member of team canada is uh, a little bit more prideful you know than being a part of a CFL organization that can cut you at any point or whatever, you know? My apologies for not being too up with bobsled terminology. I'll watch it at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. But like, what, what position are you, Shaq? So I'm a brakeman in uh, the four-man. So pretty much I'm the last guy to get in at my position. So you have two side guys and you got a pilot. And I'm the last guy, which has to be the fastest guy. Wow. So where do you go from here? I, again, I'm not familiar with it. I'm expecting to see you guys at the Winter Olympics because you're Canada. This is what we do. What do you have to do to get there? Uh, just keep competing. Right now we're on the World Cup circuit, you know, just trying to rack up some medals and just improve our rankings, you know, qualify as many sleds as we can. Right now we got two sleds qualified and, you know, we're working on a third one just to get more athletes to the games. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. Just getting ready for, for next year. I hope you don't mind my rapid-fire questions at you, Shaquille, but I am, I'm fascinated by this, obviously. Do you ever anticipate a return to the CFL at all, or is this your future path now? Oh, 
Oh yeah, for sure. I think, uh, I'm far, far from done playing football. Um, this was just an avenue, an opportunity that opened up to me. And I just said, why not, you know, why not go out and compete instead of being at home, you know, probably doing nothing, you know? So this was just another opportunity to keep competing at a high level, you know, and representing my country. Well, there's also never really been a clause in CFL contracts that you can't do other things outside of your contract. I would assume right now that you class, classify as a free agent anyways, but as far as being a dual sport athlete, I mean, Lummer did it after his CFL career, if I'm not mistaken. You're doing it during your CFL career. So how do you think that would work in terms of cross-training and so forth? Uh, it's something I talked about, you know, with coaches on both sides. I know uh, before I came out here, you know, I reached out to Kahari. You know, me and Kahari have a great relationship. He was with me in BC and uh, just kind of told him, you know, I wanted to come out and pursue this, and he was behind me. Uh, the rest of the coaches were behind me. Everyone was excited, so there was no clashing involved in that. You know what? I know Kahari very well, and I could think, I could just imagine the conversation, him grinning ear to ear. He's probably thinking this is going to make you a better football player. Am I right? Right. Oh, yeah, completely. Better football player, better athlete, you know? This is a very explosive sport, downhill, so a lot of overspeed training, and it'll just lead right into the season. You know, I play football right after the football season's done. Put the bike helmet back on, you know, the bobsled helmet back on and get ready for the games, man. Yeah, just don't get hurt. Uh, that's the other thing. But I think just think of these great experiences that you're having traveling around the world. I mean, Kahari is such a universal big thinker. That's why I get it. And he did a lot of things outside of football, too, and it's made him a better person for it. Um, but, I, you know, I'll say this. You know, you're from Scarborough, and I recall calling those games Rough Riders against the Lions, and I'm like, Shaq Murray Lawrence, you were primarily a kick returner, right? And I'm looking at this as UNLV, and I'm like, he's Canadian? But we're at a point now in Canadian football where – that, that it's not shocking that Canadians are playing in the unit uh, in NCAA at high levels. We're seeing that, right. and now it's not a shock anymore to see a stud player like yourself that's from Scarborough. So I'm sure you're itching to get back on a football field too. I mean, what? Maybe we'll end on that. What is your take on the CFL for 2021 and beyond? What are your plans? I see my plans are just you know focus on uh, the World Cup tour. You know, we got World Cup, we got World Championships coming up, so. Take care of business first and foremost. And then when it's time to worry about football, you know, kind of just switch to that football mode. Um, I think the season is still up in the air. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if COVID's going to stick around another year, you know, two years. But I'd rather not wait and just, you know, kind of sitting around like we did last year. Moving on with your life, and I should have known, one day at a time, we worry about what's right in front of you, and that's why you've had the success, the success that you've had. Shaquille, thanks for the time. I appreciate New World Agency for hooking us up. Now I'm the biggest fan of Canadian bobsled. We'll be watching now. Good luck, man, and all the best in 2021. Thank you, Rod. Thanks for having me. All right, Shaq Murray Lawrence from the Canadian National Men's Bobsled Team and also of the Montreal Alouettes. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.